Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Wednesday, the 5th of June, 2024. And I'm back out in Great Bookham and been going to Little Bookham as well, while we're having lunch. Um, I'm just walking out this little field here just to see the London skyline. And then we might pop over to Polsden Lacey, which I'm not going inside, I've done plenty of videos from Polsden Lacey. Um, but I might have a coffee in their little courtyard. And then hopefully, hopefully, go and see All Saints Church in Little Bookham, which we have been to before, which was on another video, which was churches along the A246, which I'll link below. Um, but yeah, it's getting out a bit, a bit of fresh air today. London skyline right in the distance you probably can't see it because it's a little bit hazy on my fixed lens uh, yeah it says London viewpoint but it's a little bit hazy well, it seems to be very clear sky but hopefully the photo might uh, show you a little bit more detail of the shard and everything it's just over there so, yeah, so let's um let's head down to Polsden Lacey and have a coffee I don't think there's been much merit in this video today but um, it's a beautiful day out in the Shire. Let's go. Falling back asleep With a memory buried deep We don't want it, all we are Here and now, sit fixed apart Someone tell me, lay it out Where we went wrong in our doubt Holding hands here with our sons So plead for everyone Singing grace and peace to you Mirrored fangs and helpless youth We were once a righteous few Okay, just gonna grab a coffee morning black americano mm, all right. and I got some sp still spring water because as I'm not a member of the National Trust anymore I have to buy things So we're going to have this and then head down to the church. Hope it's open. It was open last time. A great assortment of hatchments there. And then um, lunch at the ye old Windsor Castle pub in Little Bookham. Cool. I did buy a great book, which I've been wanting to do for a while actually, buy this book, uh, Magical Britain, 650 Enchanting and Mystical Sites, by Rob Wildwood. Wildwood, cool. I think quite appropriate since uh, my recent trip to Avebury. So it's been quite interesting to explore some of these places. I probably know quite a few of them, um, but that, I hope that doesn't come across as arrogant, but uh, still be interesting to see. So yeah, right, let's head down to the church. So welcome back to All Saints Church in Little Bookham, built around 1100. Beautiful church, one of my favourites actually. That's why I wanted to come back here. It's set away from the actual village of Little Bookham. 
I think it's in partnership with St Nicholas in Great Bookham nearby. So I'll link these videos below, which I did um, two years ago, I think. It's a lovely, lovely setting. And this ancient yew tree, they reckon 1300 year old yew tree. Um, all caged off. Not quite sure why, maybe it's got, it's unstable. Oh yeah, you can walk into it, but um, never known the yew tree to have a, a cage around it. But hey, what do I know? lovely churchyard as well it's very nice it's a bit new I know yeah on the switches. Look at that. I remember in the last video I did here, it was right at the end of the video of this vid of the visit here that I found the light switch. So I remembered it from before. So this is All Saints Church in Little Bookham. Absolutely beautiful. And has the best collection of hatchments in Surrey, as you can see here. These are a lot from the Pullen family, prominent family in the area. The um, chancel and aisle were added in 1160. This is a very ancient parish, it's probably a Saxon settlement or a Saxon building on the site beforehand. Um, yeah, Pullen family again. In this vault beneath are the remains of the Reverend George Pollen, rector of Little Bookham. Yeah, there we go. And um, another Pollen there, 1751. And the font, this font here is Norman in origin, Norman. So it's very old. Yeah, here we go, a little bit of information about hatchments. I learnt about hatchments in this very church a couple of years ago. From the 17th century onwards, it was customary upon the death of a person entitled to bear a coat of arm for this to be uh, painted on a large Lorenz shaped board or piece of framed canvas and suspended over the main entrance to his or her house. So that's uh, very interesting, taken down or taken to the church where he was buried or she was buried. So, yes, yeah, so we've got. Edward Pullen, born 1672, later death unknown, but before 1744. Um, so yeah, he had his own coat of arms, their family and their lineage. Oh, I also get a little bit of a head in here. I call my heads. I've had a bit of a head cold the last day, about as ill as I ever get. Um, um, so it could be that, but I don't think so. It's a bit of a woof. I didn't bring my dowsing rods, so. The church nearby, which is also on my previous video, uh, in Effingham, if we're so close to each other, the Great Bookham, Little Bookham and Effingham, they're all close to each other. They almost overlap. But in that churchyard is the grave of Sir Barnes Wallace. Yes, I think there's quite a modern roof there. Right, I'm just gonna sit here for a minute, although I'm not Christian or religious or anything, I'm spiritual. Um, even that word I'm, I wish we could find an alternative for but um, I'm just going to sit here and have a bit of a meditation and just tune out a little bit so we'll uh, see you shortly thank you All Saints Church let me visit. So I see you.
in this vault lie also the remains of Anna Maria, widow of Major General Coote Manningham, daughter and co heiress of the late Reverend George Pollen, to the Pollen family again. Rector of this pal parish, born January 13, 1783, died 1822. So that's a lovely, lovely uh, tomb. And in the year 1930, this tomb was reconstruct, reconstructed by Colonel Sir Melvin Manningham Bala, Baronet, Late Rifle Brigade, and the officers of that regiment in the year 1816. Yeah. And, uh, in this vault are deposited the remains of Charles Coote Manningham, eldest sons of the late Major General Coote Manningham. I always love this Celtic cross. Huge Celtic cross in the churchyard. Oh, sun's come out. I said before, churchyards are a real haven for wildlife. Um, I mean, this is not a very big churchyard. There's a little bit of an extension over there. But it's uh, lovely letting the grass grow so habitat can uh, thrive. go yeah extends over there the part of the churchyard so thank you all saints for a return visit always very interesting so now I'm going to round off this little video uh, we'll go this way we're going to go to the ye old Windsor Castle pub just down the road uh, in Little Bookham for lunch and uh, Join me. Falling back asleep with a memory buried deep. We don't want it, all we are here and now, sit fixed apart. Someone tell me, lay it out. Where we went wrong in our doubt Holding hands here with our sons So plead for everyone Singing grace and peace to you Mirrored fangs and helpless youth We were once a righteous few Look deep and spit the truth Thanks for joining me on this little trip to Little Bookham and a bit of Great Bookham with Poles and Lacey, coffee at Poles and Lacey and a lovely pub lunch here, steak and our pie at the Ye Old Windsor Castle pub. Really friendly staff, really enjoyable. It's got really warm now, well it is June, um, which is fantastic. I hope you enjoyed this little video, um, please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff and we'll see you next time. Take care. Sister, my sister